All right, so now that I'm here, the very first thing I do once I'm here is unpack my lunch and all that stuff. But I check the list to see what x-rays I need to catch up on before kind of my day actually starts. So for instance, I usually walk into like, I don't know, 15, 20 x-rays before the start of my shift. So I have to clear that list, make sure I can make way for the new ones to come in. And then also in this time, since I'm on IR today, I will look up all the procedures that I'm going to be doing today. So for instance, if I have a lung biopsy like I do today, I'll review that CT. I wish I could show it to you, but I obviously can't for numerous different reasons, but I'll review that CT, go over the patient's uh, history, their blood work, all that kind of stuff, plan my trajectory, how I'm going to actually biopsy the lung nodule and uh, go from there. And then after that, I'll go over each procedure for the day, look at the imaging so that I'm ready when they get called down. I know exactly what I'm doing, I already have everything planned out, mapped out. I can tell the team any specifics I want, positioning wise, certain things, and I have it all ready so we can kind of streamline the day. But first and foremost, I have a thyroid biopsy to do right now before any of all this stuff. All right, so let's talk about what I just got out there. So one, my lead line glasses. I use these Nike ones, love these. They look sick on me, which is the most important part, but also they're very functional. Next, scrub cap, courtesy of figs. Gotta match the black with the black. Just happened that way. I don't know why I always wear black. Then, you know, like I said, I can get this out, hold on. Stoggles, because I wear these for every procedure that's ultrasound guided or CT guided, anything that's not with fluoroscopic guidance. If it uses x-rays, I would obviously use these radiation glasses, but depends on the procedure. And uh, yeah, so right now I forgot to mention that I also have to review any inpatient add-ons for the day. So they may add on anything they want for the day. So say someone needs pleural fusion drained or ascites or biliary drain, I have to do all. So that's what I'm gonna review right now. Make sure I can kind of plan the rest of the day. So basically, the way we do it in private practice is, well, pretty much anywhere with IR is, you have scheduled outpatients that you have scheduled time slots for, and then you fit in the inpatient add-ons throughout the day where you can fit them. While doing that, doing all the procedures and everything, I'm also reading x-rays, ultrasounds. I maybe pick off a few CTs here and there to help my fellow colleagues out. And I'm also reading random PET scans that kind of come in throughout the day as well. So we do a lot in private practice, a lot. This is why it's not for everybody. All right, so just finished one, two, three procedures, one biopsy, another biopsy. It's about 11.45 and this is the best day ever, but I'm kind of upset because I didn't work out today. But some of our reps brought us in a little Chick-fil-A. So I'll be eating that for lunch instead of a salad. A little Chick-fil-A nuggets. I mean, I guess you gotta splurge every now and then. That was a doozy of a procedure I just did. And then I came out and have a bunch of consults and I also had to read a whole bunch of studies that I missed. So let me catch up. All right, real talk. Today was a disaster, like legit disaster. But let me um, get out of here and I'll tell you about it. I was pretty ambitious earlier about actually going to uh, play golf afterwards. So I know it sounds crazy because, you know, I'm leaving at 5 p.m. and people are like, that's a pretty good life. And it is, but I work like nonstop today, but that's what private practice is all about. So normally I was planning on just going to the golfing, the golfing, to the driving range, just swinging some clubs because that's what I was planning on doing today. And that's why I, at the beginning of this video, I packed my clubs because I want to do that. But now I'm just too tired. And I want to go sit on the couch, but I may play tennis with Andriana, we'll see. Also, I think I have to podcast tonight too. And if you haven't watched our podcast, click the link up here, Cellini Rounds Podcast. It's me and my bros. We basically just, you know, talk about whatever, mostly medical stuff with the tad of whatever. We kind of just touch it all, but I think it's a pretty good podcast. I mean, I'm not biased or anything, but some people liked it. And we didn't do it for like a week because we we're on vacation. And then like so many people yelled at us because they wanted a podcast. So we're gonna keep doing it. So you should subscribe. Thanks. Nothing like a little tennis to end a rough day of work. Oh. So for those of you who don't know, Andrana is taking tennis lessons. I actually played tennis, not a lot in college. I didn't like play it, play it, but I played a little bit 
in college, not like four. The University of Georgia is purely recreational, intramural, if you will. But Andrana's taking lessons. She's taken like three or four lessons now. So she's trying to get a little better, but she'll never be as good as me because I'm a natural athlete. Are you ready to get beat? I suck at tennis. <laughs> you did better. That's why you're doing lessons. We'll see. All right, so update. Andrana's on the struggle bus. She hit a couple balls over the fence. She's trying to get them. Okay, hon. How do those get over there? They suck. <laughs> Poor thing. Update. We have a nice gentleman who is a I think a tennis pro or like a coach, and uh, he offered to help Vendrana because he saw her doing some things incorrectly, and I'm super happy that he did that. So now they're kind of going over stuff. I'll show you. It's kind of cute. What a nice guy. So nice. All right, job well done. Vendrana got a free coaching lesson. I got a free private lesson. <laughs> For like 10, 15 minutes. How would you rate your tennis game? After the lesson? After that, after this, after this. Honestly, it went from like a zero to a three. Oh, uh, I don't know, three? No, three. the lesson was a 10 out of 10. My skill is, is subpar. Oh, okay. I think it was a pretty good lesson. She's getting better. Oh, no, my lesson was a 10 out of 10. She's getting but better. My skill? Woo. She's determined, I'll give her that. All right, everybody, so I just got back from tennis. As you can see, I'm nice and sweaty, but I wanted to end the video here and kind of recap everything because I feel like, as usual, every time I try to film one of these videos now that I'm in private practice, it just like gets super crazy and I get so busy that I can't even keep up with what I was trying to film. So let me just backtrack here. So I did a whole bunch of procedures today, neft tube, lung biopsy, a few other mass biopsies. I was about to do an embolization for someone who was hemorrhaging, but they ended up stabilizing and we're going to do it not a emergently tomorrow. And one more thing I wanted to talk about is how different these day in the life videos are compared to when I used to do these back when I was in fellowship and residency. And those of you who have been a long time subscriber to my channel, remember all of those videos. If you haven't seen them, here's like a link to my most popular video up here, I guess, and maybe you can check those out. But the reason I stopped doing all of these day in the life type videos was because I just felt like they weren't as exciting as they used to be. I'm not doing like the crazy comp complex cases that come in at 6 p.m. and you stay up till midnight doing and then you have to wake up and do it all over again. That stuff like doesn't really exist because it's not sustainable in real life practice. So while it was exciting in fellowship and I learned a ton doing all that stuff, it's not something that you can sustain doing the rest of your life in practice. So that's why you see in my practice, I do a lot of diagnostic and IR. So in between my procedures, I'm also reading a whole bunch of cases, x-rays, CTs, even PET scans in between cases. So I'm bouncing around constantly throughout the whole day. So yes, it's a short eight to four or eight to five day, but I'm working nonstop during that day. So I wish I could have shown you all some procedures or something, but I'm still working on that. I'm trying to get a hold of my hospital to see if they would even allow it. I'm not even sure of who to even reach out to yet. So stay tuned. I may start doing some of those videos, but let me know if you like this video and if you want me to do more like this. But before I do, I do want to say hit the link in my description to get six free stocks with Weeble. All you have to do is literally sign up, deposit one penny, from your bank account and they give you six free stocks. I mean, it's a no brainer in this current environment. Stocks are like down 20% plus for every single sector. So if you're young and you want to long-term invest, I don't see a better time to get in than now. So it's a good opportunity, not financial advice. So click the link in my description. And as always, let me know in the comments what you think of this video and I'll see you all on the next one. Also, I'm back because I did take a little hiatus there for a little bit, like two weeks, but I'm back. We're back. Bye.